Hi, I'm John Decker, PGA golf instructor and author of the book, Golf Is My Life, Glorifying God Through the Game. Today I want to work with you on your finishing position in the golf swing and I want to work on your arms and, and in particularly the tension in your arms. One of the worst things that you can do in your golf swing is tense up or tighten up. Uh, because when you tighten up your arms or your shoulders uh, or any part of your body, it really, and especially in the upper body, uh, in your grip, if you do any of these things, it's really going to take away from your power and, and your ability to create power. When I think of great golf swings and when I think of swings that look easy, um, I think of someone like a Fred Couples. Um, the one thing about him and his finishing position is he is literally just letting the club kind of rest on his shoulder when he's done. And what, what the phrase that I like to use, and I, I got this from uh, my, my, my boss down in uh, at Grand Cypress, Fred Griffin, when I was down there, is to let the air out, take the air out, almost to exhale. And so a lot of times when I'll hit balls or when I have students hit balls, if I get someone who comes through and they're really tight with their arms, then th this is going to be perfect uh, for them to, to do. When you hit the shot, what you actually want to do is you want to just let the club rest on your shoulder, let your arms totally give, and be turned all the way to the target. You're going to find when you do this, your body can, will turn much freer. When you pull with your arms and you tighten up with your arms, it stops your core rotation. And when you stop your core rotation, you lose power. And when you lose power, you're not going to obviously hit the ball as solid or as far. So I'm going to go ahead and just in my practice swings, I'm kind of telling myself to just exhale. So I'm going to swing it back, through, exhale. I'll go ahead and hit a shot here. Let my arms just totally relax there. It's a great way to work on your finish. You'll find that when you do this, you tend to really stay on balance. You tend to really hit the ball a lot more solid. That ball, I would be very happy with that shot. I hit that ball right, right in the center of the face because I just turned and I let the club just find the ball. I didn't try to guide it to the ball. I didn't try to pull my arms to the ball. We all do this at times especially on the golf course because on the golf course you may have a bunker over here and a lake over here and your instinct is to hit it straight and you're going to guide the club through the ball and you're going to keep the club from releasing and you're going to hold on in the swing. Um, I see a, a swing like Jordan Spieth, I see a lot of that in his golf swing. Now keep in mind for someone like Jordan Spieth who swings that way, Jordan Spieth can throw a baseball left-handed he can do things right-handed. He has strength from both sides. The average person can't do what he does. So you're better off to have a strong side. So if you're right-handed, I want your right side to be your strong side. If you're left-handed, I want your left hand to, to left side to be your strong side. So to do that, to take advantage of your strong side, you have to take the tension out. This is a great, great way, the exhale or, or letting the air out in your finish is a great way to hit your wedges and hit your irons. You're going to find that your distance control will be a lot more consistent. I, I found that in my own game when I do that. So hitting shots like that, thinking of Fred Couples, maybe pull Fred Couples up on, uh, uh, you know, look at his, some of his swings and, and you can find those anywhere. Uh, and look at his finishing position and you'll literally see the club laying on his shoulder. In fact, when he hits bunker shots, he'll just kind of let let the club completely go and his right hand comes off, his arms are completely relaxed. This allows him full rotation through. If the driver, it's going to go on through like this, but my arms again are relaxed. I never want my arms to separate from my body. And again, a great visual of this is when you are looking at the figure skater and they're twirling, they put their arms close to their body to get maximum rotation. But when they want to stop, they separate their arms. When you separate your arms from your body, you slow your swing down. You lose your rotation, and because of that, you'll lose power. So work on the exhale, work on letting the air out in your finish, and your distance control with your irons, and your driver is going to give you more power. It's a great way to think about the finishing position.